Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Good morning, y'all. We are standing out here in the field at my place and there's a strip of beans down below as well as the strip on top of the hill up there. So this is the soybeans that we have left uh, plus a short strip down at Travis's place, roughly 10 acres or so. Uh, today, we're gonna be finishing soybeans. So we got our first freeze of the season last night. And as you can see, the alfalfa's all turned over and bent out of shape. Ah, suck it up, it's just a little cold weather. We're gonna be heading over to the farm, getting the combine ready and bringing it out. And we're gonna be finishing soybeans today. This is gonna be the last time that we harvest soybeans with our 9510. So it's a little bittersweet. It's been, uh, wow, it's been almost 10 years since the 9510 first showed up at the farm. But uh, I'm looking forward to the, what the future has to hold. Mornings like this are absolutely gorgeous. Got the moon up there. I'm doing all right in just this hoodie because this is the warmest one I've got. And even my coffee here is cold. So, <laughs> but it doesn't really bother me quite yet. Once the wind starts blowing, then we'll start talking. But, uh, Right now, everything's looking pretty good. We had rain a couple days ago, but it dried up to where we can get out into the field, I think. But uh, the alfalfa is pretty much toast, so once we get all the crops out of the field out here, I can let the cows out into the field to give them more feed. But uh, I want to try to get the calves in. I got the pole shed ready for cattle last night. Uh, I put bales in, and I spread some corn fodder inside uh, the big concern that I've got is that there's still some corn left in this feeder here and I don't want to let the cows and have them pig out on it so I might bring the JCB in lift that out and uh, let the cows in they can come up here and try to sort some of the calves off before I let them out into the field and uh, I still got the 11 acres over there that they can be let out into as well what do you say we hop in the truck and head over to the farm we're gonna head down to Travis's place first to finish that field so that he can let the cows down there out and we'll come out here, finish this, and I can open up the field when I'm ready. Come on, Rocket. We're just kind of getting things ready right now, and uh, we got the Rhino Ag 4155 mower on the back of the 7600. So our family friend, Randy, is here, and he's gonna be set loose with this, and he's gonna mow stocks today. So. We're gonna take this out. I'm gonna just kind of take it for a quick test run because it's been sitting for a while. And then he's gonna do this while we are harvesting beans. Speed these up a little bit. when companies put together 
a grease bank like this with all the grease zerks in one place because you just go one, two, two shots, one, two, one, two, right down the line. They're fueling the combine up right now. I'm gonna fuel the 82 up and we're gonna head down and try to start harvesting soybeans. Feel the beans for the year. Let's get her done. That couldn't be any better. Unfortunately, we didn't beat the moisture. We were hoping to keep harvesting beans after the sun went down, but it's just too wet. So I'm gonna unload what's on the grain cart, all 52,000 pounds and uh, dump that into the truck. That's enough of a load for once Gavilon's open, I can run that down, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, quite a bit actually. And we're hoping right now that it holds off long enough that we can do something in the morning. Last time I looked at the forecast, it's not favorable, but uh, we're just gonna have to wait around and see when we can get the rest of these beans done. Cause there's roughly, I would say about 15 or 20 acres I'd say are left. It's all just this big strip on top of the hill here. So they're parking the combine down by the house because they're open in the morning. We can just hop in and go. So nice about this grain cart, you can just lower it to where you want it and go.
Cavalon's not open, I can't take it right down there. We're gonna pull the truck over to the farm and leave it parked there overnight. got back I'll follow up and uh, hopefully we can get the beans out this week and we can just focus on corn from here on out but that's a wrap for the night I had to come out and grab my cameras but more importantly my dog don't worry rocket I didn't forget you but uh, so far all of the beans that we've harvested have been over 60 bushels to the acre which is really really good so uh, we'll have to try to see if we can harvest some tomorrow, but uh, that should be about it for this video. And that'll probably be the last time that you guys see the 9510 harvesting beans. And soon, the last time you'll see it harvesting corn as well. So in our next video, there is going to be something coming. And uh, I, it's actually going to be in two days from now, but I expect that'll probably be in our next video. So keep an eye out for that one. It's going to be, it's going to be a good one, I'm sure. But uh, I haven't even seen it yet, so... Uh, we're going to do an inspection on it when it shows up, but, uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all off arms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.